My name is Cindy Maifong Kwok, and I'm a longtime teacher here at Glen Eagle Secondary in Coquitlam. We're quite a multicultural community, so we have quite a large and diverse population of almost 1,500 students. It's a place that I call home because I've been here for over 20 years. I've sent my children to this school, so it is really woven into my DNA. I graduated from SFU PDP a long time ago, but I remember how important that community was because we were all learning together and we were all being really vulnerable together. So that shared experience of actually like struggling through how to build a lesson plan, struggling through how to find a balance between being firm but fair and friendly in the classroom, that we were all living that experience. And, and you know, when you persevere through challenging times, that connects you and bonds you to people in, in really special ways. And I know that we certainly kept in contact for the first, you know, five or six years after we graduated because we'd, we'd run into each other and it was like meeting a brother or a sister, right? Like you'd kind of gone through this really seminal experience together. I think it was definitely a moment of resilience. I remember caring so much about doing a good job. I had a moment of panic of thinking, I can't do this. And I remember actually leaving my students and running into the cloakroom. And my school associate grabbed me by the shoulders and she said, listen, you're a teacher now, you go back in there. And I was like, okay. And so I took a deep breath and I went back in, even though everything in my body told me I couldn't do it. And I think that's an important takeaway because I think as a teacher, we need to embrace the fact that we are more courageous than we thought we ever could be. And we need to model that type of risk taking. We need to model that type of vulnerability because we're also asking our students to do the same. For the last three years, I've actually been working as a faculty associate up at SFU, supporting student teachers. And I was thirsty and hungry to come back to the classroom. And I think that is at the heart of what teachers do, is that you've got to love kids. So it is the, the energy of a classroom, right? The buzz of a classroom. Like just yesterday, we were having a discussion about a story and I had some grade 12 boys like high five each other, like in an English 12 classroom. So it's the energy and the buzz and the learning energy and joy. You know, I feed off, right? I get as much from the students as um, I hope they're getting from me. I think the most important thing about SFU's program is the emphasis on relationships, that we don't teach subject matter, we teach people. I love that the program really puts the time behind that belief that we don't just say those words at SFU, we truly believe it. I think that you build the relationship first. You help students to understand that you're on their side, that you are their biggest fan, that you believe in them even before they believe in themselves. And that's my biggest takeaway. I think particularly as a child of immigrants myself and as an immigrant and a refugee, it was teachers who believed in me and made me feel like I could do anything. That's what I think was a big piece of the SFU program is that it's people first and then the learning will come. This program will feed you and help you to become a lifelong learner. You will never get bored in this profession if you have that mindset of I will continue to learn. So embracing that lifelong learning, you've got to love to learn, you've got to love kids, and you have to also love to work hard. But it is the hardest and most gratifying thing you will do.